Hi everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. We're the Village's Newcomers. What are we doing today? Today we're going to go down to the golf cart store to check on electric golf carts. Well, we want to get in there and see all the options and all the bells and whistles and we're taking your cart down. Maybe we'll trade it in. Oh, well, I love my little yellow bumblebee, but you know, I could be persuaded. <laughs> Let's go check it out. We're so pleased to be in the Village's Golf Cars with Christopher and Jeff. They're going to take us through some of these new carts and some things that we haven't seen before. And more importantly, they're going to tell us a lot more about the electric golf cart, the lithium batteries and that sort of thing. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much, Jerry and Linda. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today, and, and we're very grateful for the opportunity that you've provided for us to, uh, to give you a little education from what we know um, in the golf car world. So uh, Jeff and I will do that here for the next few minutes. We're looking around your showroom, and what an inventory. I mean, these are beautiful carts. And uh, I, I told Linda, this could be a dangerous visit for us. You know, we may go home with a new golf cart. We have one of your golf carts. We have a uh, 2016. It's not a quiet tech, so that's a reason to trade up right there, isn't it? But we noticed that you have a full service maintenance department over here, and we've used it. We had seat belts added to, to, to a different cart. We have had batteries replaced. Uh, we've had oil changes. That's a great feature that you have that available here. It really is. Um, it's, it's been really great for us to have the opportunity to not just only sell vehicles, but also service them in the same space. You know, that's kind of the plan is our showrooms are all attached to our service center. So um, we are running currently by appointment only. Uh, we've been doing that for about two years now. We found that it's uh, the best way for us to, number one, uh, organize what we're doing, to execute services in a timely fashion, and to, uh, to offer the most number of services in a day that we can, as opposed to just driving up and, and kind of unannounced. We have heard that you guys are the top Yamaha dealer in the nation. Is that true? We sell uh, quite a few Yamahas. Um, as a dealer uh, who sells to the public um, for end use, neighborhood type travel, uh, yeah, we are uh, currently the, the largest dealer in the, in the country. We see a large number of Yamahas here, but now we're seeing more and more other brand carts. Like behind us here, we have a couple of easy go carts, which we've heard of for a long time, and a star cart. And I'm liking the hood on this star cart. You could, you could, you could keep your uh, Mr. Pib in there. Or, uh, Gizmo will fit there. Oh, Perfect. yeah, Gizmo could fit. Oh, wouldn't that be a good sight? <laughs> to be driving down the road with Gizmo's head right there. He would love that. Are these all electric, these three? These three in front of us, they are all electric, and they are actually all lithium-powered as well, which is um, what we're starting to sell a lot of. Golf cars used to be primarily lead-acid batteries, which I don't think they charged as efficiently as the lithium. I don't think the range was as, as much as a lithium battery. What are the benefits of a lithium battery? The lead acid, there was a lot more maintenance. Range wasn't as good. Performance um, was a lot more sluggish, especially when you started to lose um, your charge. With these lithium, there is no maintenance. There's no distilled water that you put in them. Range is much better than lead acid. Charge time is cut in half. Um, a lot of benefits to moving towards lithium and a great warranty. With gas, $4 a gallon, you're not buying gas, you're buying electricity. How does the cost compare, say on an empty tank, to filling up that electric golf cart with those lithium batteries to a gas golf cart? A gas golf cart is going to cost you $25 to fill now, pretty close. Yeah, that's true. Um, with the gas golf cars, they have about a five and a half gallon tank, so you will need to fill that up depending on what the gas is. With current electric costs, it's uh, we've got customers saying they're right around 1.7 cents per mile um, is what they're paying now. I guess that's going to depend on where you live and the rates that your electric company would char be charging you right, for right. that. What is the charge time on these new lithium batteries? So these will be anywhere from six hours um, up to maybe nine, um, depending on which model you go with. So there are different battery packs um, and they'll take different amounts of time to charge. Another question that we get all the time, 
is are there charging stations in the villages for your electric carts? I guess some folks think that if you drive down here, you better fill that up before you go home. But you have a pretty good range on those carts. What's the deal with charging? Are there mobile charging stations? No mobile charging stations yet. Um, the different manufacturers, they do have different um, uh, charge ports. Um, so it would be different for all of them. I see. Um, so that's one of the things. Lead acid, um, which used to be more popular years ago, they took almost two hours before they would accept a charge. Um, with these new lithium units, in as little as 30 minutes, you start noticing um, an increase in your range. All right. What's the farthest village down there? I said it was Case and Hammock, but I was corrected like big time by our viewers. There's one even further, but our farthest village from the south to the farthest village in the north, how many miles and is that doable a round trip on an electric cart? Uh, it's definitely doable with these newer lithium products. Um, we're thinking it might be about 30, 35 miles um, after more uh, neighborhoods are built um, kind of way, way into the future. And it depends how heavy your foot is, I guess, how much you weigh, maybe, how heavy your wife is. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, what would be an accurate range? We know the gas carts get about 250 miles a tank. What would you get per charge on that lithium battery? Between 220, 250 miles on a tank. Um, these newer lithium models with the battery packs that we are putting on the showroom floors here, they're getting between 50 to 80 miles. And that's consistent, multiple tests. Um, us here in the villages, equipped how we'll sell them. Um, so you would be filling up a gas tank every three to four days if you were doing max range. And those lithium batteries, they're not like the old batteries where they get weaker and weaker and you go slower and slower. Have you ever had to be pushed up a hill at a golf course? Yeah. I have many times. These, if you would get down to the critical area, do they just go and stop? It is. So it's more like your lithium drill, your lithium vacuum cleaner, things like that now. Um, so no pushing anymore when the, when the charge starts to get low. Um, it does have a charge indicator in the dash, so you know where you're at um, as you go along. Um, acceleration might slow down a little bit with the EasyGo, but performance does not drop. You'll still get 20 miles an hour. Um, and not just the golf course, but coming out of some of those tunnels. Um, we've seen a lot of people with lead acid getting pushed, um, but not with these lithium. One thing we love about the Villages Golf Cars is you have a large fleet of rentals. And when people bring their cart in here, like us, for seat belts or, or you know, something malfunctions, you loan them a loaner, don't you? That's correct. Uh, residents of the Villages are busy, aren't they? Yeah. So ideally, you drive up. You sign in for your appointment, you leave us with your golf car, and you drive off in what we call a service loaner until your golf car is complete. Yeah. She's got to get to that stretch class. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> so what if I'm short? Are there adjustable seats for people that are short like me? If I get in your rental golf cart or whatever, is it going to be suitable for me? Very good question. Um, currently, all of our golf cars for the service loaner program have standard seats. So uh -huh. to answer your question directly, they're not adjustable. Okay. Um, however, there are a few things that we can do. Um, we have something that was uh, kind of uh, a thing of the past that we used on standard seats before all these upgraded seats came along called a back buddy. So if you needed that, um, we'd be able to help you probably to utilize one of those. A booster seat, because I booster carry my seat. own booster seat sometimes. <laughs> well, you know, and is it El Tiger or El Tigre? It's El Tigre. El Tigre. Okay. We have El Tigre seats on both of our carts. Gizmo hates those. There's a crack in the middle. You know, they're adjustable bucket seats. She loves it. She can scooch all the way up there. Doesn't have to worry about an airbag in the golf cart. But Gizmo doesn't like He likes the bench seat. What is more popular in your sales? Is it a bench or is it the custom adjustable seats? Yeah, the, um, the seats that you're describing uh, would be the adjustable both forward and backward and the reclining seats that El Tigre has to offer. And that is our number one selling golf car seat currently and has been for a little over two years. Those are made in Indiana, by the way, aren't they? That is correct as That's well. That's our home yeah. state. It's our number one claim to fame in Indiana. <laughs> we make the El Tigre seats. These golf cars are beautiful. I know they're expensive. It's all relative. As a difference between the lithium battery and 
a gas golf cart, what kind of price differential do we have? And what kind of price differential between a lithium battery golf cart and a lead acid battery golf cart? So if we're going to compare uh, both like you were saying, nicely equipped gas versus the electric, the lithium will probably be about three to $5,000 more depending on the manufacturing model that you go with. Um, we're seeing those prices consistently go down just as production is up with lithium, kind of like uh, flat screen TVs were back in the day. The more they produce, the more cost is going down. So um, each year it seems to go down a little bit more. Are you still selling lead acid batteries in, your, in some of the uh, golf cars? With pre-owned units there are some lead acid um, with new a lot of the manufacturers are starting to get rid of that option um, there are still some available but as far as our showrooms it's ne nearly all lithium anymore do you see governmentally with the push for a, a greener society that in 10 years we're going to see a huge number of battery powered golf cars out there as people come more familiar with uh, hybrid and lithium cars, I think it'll just trickle over into the golf car world. Um, so back in 2012, 2013, Yamaha came out with fuel injected and everyone could relate to that. Now lithium, um, we're selling more and more lithium products each year. One thing we've heard, and you hear everything, you hear every rumor and every, only bad news makes the news, you know, most of the time. <laughs> we've heard that the battery powered golf carts are dangerous that they catch fire. Is that a thing? I have seen it. Um, usually it's with the lead acid batteries that are not maintained properly. So you did have to put distilled water in those. Um, there were platelets that would get hot. Um, if people were not maintaining those, not putting the water in, it would get hot and could cause fire. With the lithium, um, it's very, very rare, even in cell phones now, but all the golf cars do have a controller on board um, to where they will not overheat to the point where anything like that should happen. So the controller would cut the whole system off before okay, anything very like good. that would happen. I don't know if you saw, but we had a show about a year and a half ago that was gas golf carts versus electric. And we had a buddy that was an electric cart owner and a buddy that had a new gas golf cart. And we, we dressed them up like cowboys and they had an old shootout on the street. And uh, uh, that electric cart blew that gas cart away. Is that typical? Do they have a quick pickup? Very typical, um, a lot more torque. Um, very smooth acceleration, so the gas has a centrifugal clutch, which needs to kind of close in, so a little bit more clunky takeoff. Um, but the electric is instant torque, um, gets up to speed much faster than a gas golf car will. We are torn. We kind of want an electric cart because we do, if you've watched a lot of golf cart driving videos where we're showing neighborhoods and, and all sorts of, of, of neat things. And even a quiet tech golf cart has engine noise. It is so peaceful. We have a buddy, Jake and Shirley, and uh, they offered to loan us their, their uh, electric cart. It is so nice. It's totally quiet. It is nice that we have different options available. Um, we're a Yamaha, Club Car, EasyGo, and Star EV dealer. So someone can come in, they can test drive one, see if it can get them everywhere they want to go. They can see how the seats fit them, how the pedals fit. Um, so we don't have to push a certain type. We'll educate them on what we think might be best on their usage or what neighborhood they're in, depending on if it's a um, hilly type of area. Um, but no, we, we let, leave that up to the residents to decide. If you only had maybe four colors, but now you've got this beautiful array of hand-painted colors available, and they're just gorgeous. But what other options can people add to a stock golf cart if they want to create their own? So that's very popular um, here. Everyone wants to have their golf car that helps them stand out. They want to be able to see it in the sea in the parking lot, make sure, oh, this is mine that I'm walking up to. Um, so custom paint, like you said, over 400 options. Um, two tones, streak style, um, fire, flames, all kinds of things with paint. Enclosures, um, probably about another 400 or so colors you can choose from. We have different wheel options. Um, seats, different vinyls you can choose from, textures, speakers, um, almost anything you can imagine. We can, we can make it work with your golf car. We don't have many bells and whistles. We have a dome light, we have uh, turn signals, we have USB port, we have seat belts, we have, the, we have those nice seats. 
what would you say is the most popular add-on for people when they come? They've got to have it in their new card. Is it the self-canceling turn signals? <laughs> it is. You nailed it. So <laughs> other than upgraded seats like you all have, that's probably number one. Um, and you will see that in a lot of our options on the showroom floor. Um, that's very, very popular, at least one style, maybe a, a bench, um, but the buckets as well like you have. And then self-canceling turn signals are, are almost becoming an automatic add-on here anymore. I needed that. I mean, I'm like a fool in that golf cart, leaving mine on. But now my cart has a beeper. So I can remember, as long as my hearing holds out, I'll, I'll be able to remember that. I've heard from people that it's hard to get golf carts. Well, we certainly, uh, much like the rest of the world, we, there was a timeline or a time frame rather the last couple of years where um, there was a lull in productivity and what we could receive. Um, as of today, um, throughout our four showrooms, we've got a little over 80 golf carts that you could walk in, drive, um, and purchase that day to take home with you. Um, so the next question is, so what if I don't find something I like on the showroom floor? Well, then you sit down and you custom design a golf cart, much like Jeff was describing a few moments ago. Um, and that takes about 12 weeks to come in. Mm -hmm. The great part about that is we've just recently been able to reinstate our, what we call our build loaner program. So we have golf cars available. If you come in and design a golf cart and you're waiting 12 weeks, we provide you with a golf cart to use during that time. That is an amazing feature. And this gentleman right behind the camera right there, <laughs> he bought a four-seater front-facing golf cart from you recently. And you had a loaner the whole time you were waiting, didn't you? You bet. That's Mike back there, by the way. <laughs> Mike's our right-hand man. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> He's got a couple of your golf carts. Uh, Mike's got money, though. <laughs> Let's talk about the average citizen that comes in. What is a well-equipped electric cart cost? All in, all done taxes, et cetera, about what can they spend? If we're looking at lithium, which is what we would focus on, right? And you're talking about at least adding upgraded seats as again, Jeff described just a few moments ago, um, you should plan about 14 to $16,000. Now, of course, you can add on to that. Jeff mentioned speakers, you mentioned self-canceling turn signals. There's a myriad of other mm -hmm. items you can add all the way up to about 20,000, but that would be what we would consider like a premium golf cart purchase. Yeah. Well, we think it's a great place, and uh, we've never had a bad experience here. We've been here to the service department multiple times. Mm -hmm. We bought used carts, but uh, her cart only had 30 hours on it when she bought yeah. it, so it was, it, you know, it was like me. practically new. But we've had all good experiences here, and I think you know when we come back just for the convenience and the support that you guys give, we'll look at a new cart. What kind of warranty do these have? Another great question. Uh, one of the things that's really progressed, if we're focusing still on the lithium uh, topic, is the, the warranty that comes with a lithium battery far exceeds that of even the car itself. So if the golf car has a three-year warranty or a four-year warranty, the battery pack, depending on the brand that you go with, has a five-year or an eight-year warranty. So the big cost in any ownership of an electric vehicle has always been the batteries. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at lithium, you can count on about five to ten years of battery life with a five or an eight year battery warranty. And they're built to last. I mean, I, my experience with golf carts is like Volkswagens. You can't tell a 2005 from a 2015 and they seem to run forever. Do you typically have many serious issues return with those lithium batteries? We've been selling lithium batteries um, with the EasyGo brand specifically for um, almost five years now. Into the middle of 2017, we got our first EasyGo Elite lithium batteries. Um, so far, we have had zero battery failures awesome. for that particular brand. Um, as long as you maintain your vehicle regularly, we recommend uh, the way that we use them here in the villages that they get serviced twice a year, not just once. Um, and as long as you do that, it's your typical, I need new brakes, I need, um, you know, my windshield was cracked, uh, I need new uh, rubber for my wheels every, uh, you know, two or three years, depending upon how much you're driving. But the actual, you know, breakage or things that need to be replaced is, is quite low in an electric vehicle versus a gas vehicle. The one thing about gas is there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of wearable items that need to be replaced like almost yearly. Okay. One final question, and, and you just told me a great piece of advice. I mean, that they're going to last five to eight years minimum, probably more. If they don't, it's probably a prorated replacement until then. But after the warranty period, what it would it cost to replace just the bat lithium batteries? If you were to replace a lithium battery pack today, um, it would be in the $4,500 to $5,500 range. Jeff mentioned it perfectly with an example of televisions in the last 10 years. Every year that more batteries are produced, 
and that more batteries are purchased, those prices are going down. Uh, for a quick example, five years ago when we took this battery on, uh, this lithium powder, uh, lithium powered golf car on, uh, battery replacement costs were estimated at around seven thousand oh, dollars. Okay. Well, it's some great information today. I hope you've enjoyed it at home. Is there any closing thoughts you'd like to leave with anybody? Only that we love what we do. And uh, there's a lot to learn about electric golf cars. So if you're interested in anything electric um, or golf car in general, you want to look at lithium real closely. And um, there's a lot out there to learn. We appreciate allowing us to come here and, and kind of look at some of these misconceptions about electric golf carts. It's been really eye-opening for us. And it's got us seriously thinking about an electric cart. So thank you for having us. Thank you so much for coming. As you can see, we're on our way home in my cart. It's tempting. There's a lot of beautiful carts and I love the idea of the quiet ride in those uh, easy go electric carts. Mm -hmm. Your cart runs perfect though. I mean, it's yeah. perfect. It's low maintenance, mm -hmm. 250 miles of tank full. But if it bit the dust, we would seriously consider one of those electric mm -hmm. carts. Mm -hmm. Would you? I would. I would. Whose car would it be then? Oh, it would have to be a toss-up. We'd have to probably toss a coin every day, right? <laughs> I think the electric cart would be fabulous for our golf cart rides when we want it nice and quiet. Yes. But as you can see, they were so nice down there and knowledgeable mm -hmm. and uh, had a full service operation. You want gas carts, they've got them. You want electric carts, they've got them. Mm -hmm. You want a great service center, they've got it. So that's why they're successful. They, very, they are. And they have a gas station there. That's wonderful. That's where we get our gas. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks to Jeff and Christopher for uh, having us in there today. We learned a lot and we hope you did too. If you liked our video today, please press that like and subscribe button and share it with your friend. And also there's a little bell you need to, to hit and that'll give you uh, notices of upcoming videos. Until next time. See you when you get here.